Listen, we've all been there before. It's late, Christmas is coming, you need to get a gift, but you don't want to break the bank while doing it. Well, fortunately for you, we've come up with a top 10 list of LEGO gifts to get if you're under a budget. Now for us, that was 40 US dollars. So this was consist of only sets 40 US dollars or below, perfect to give to that special someone who you really care about, but may not exactly know what kind of LEGO set is the best to buy around the season. For number 10, we're going to start with the Minecraft skin packs. These don't necessarily come with a lot of parts. They are $15 each. They do come with very exclusive Minecraft minifigures. In fact, you can't really find these minifigures anywhere else. Uh, they all come with some little uh, accessories here and there, a TNT block, uh, some pickaxes, some swords. Some really cool stuff that any Minecraft fan is really going to enjoy. It's definitely a must have if your kid is really into Minecraft or if you know someone who kind of likes the game. Coming in at number 9 is the Water Dragon Adventure from LEGO Elves. Now, it costs about $20 and it's about 212 pieces. It actually is a decent sized build. The main reason we put this one on the list is that it has a dragon. We felt that combining the minifigure with a creature such as a dragon really upped the play value. This is probably the most bang for your buck you're going to get for the LEGO Elves line underneath $40. Coming in at number 8 is the Adventure Camp Rafting Set from the LEGO Friends line. Now we felt this set was rather unique in its build and that's what kind of made it stand out to us. It's $30, it has 320 pieces, it comes with a lot of different accessories including a campfire, a raft, a tent, a little trophy, a bunch of stuff and the build is again really unique. It's actually not something you see in most lines including the LEGO Friends line. Uh, there's a lot of stuff done to create this kind of nature scene here and we felt it was a great enough playset for kids to enjoy. On on Christmas Day. Moving on to number 7, we have the Raid Zeppelin from LEGO's Ninjago line. Now this set runs you at $29.99 and has 294 pieces. Uh, this is one of the better sets I felt that coming out of the Ninjago wave, uh, definitely because of the creative way they used the air balloon. In fact, this is a set that I have personally and I really love the engineering ingenuity that went into building this set. It's definitely really striking, it's really creative, this steampunk aesthetic works really well. And even though the minifigure selection could be a little better, I really do feel it's a great set that you won't regret buying. Coming in at number 6, we have Berlin and Venice from LEGO's Architecture Line. These sets both cost about $30 and they both are very similar if anyone's bought one of the Skyline sets from LEGO Architecture before. Um, Venice will run you at 212 pieces while Berlin actually has 289 pieces, but they're both very good representations of this, the Skylines and the places it's supposed to represent. If you have a bit of an older kid or someone who's interested in architecture, this is definitely a must buy. Berlin does have more pieces than Venice so if you're wanting to get the most amount of pieces Berlin's definitely the place to go but if you do happen to have visited Ber uh, Venice or you know have some connection to that skyline it's totally worth buying it's still a really great build there's a lot of famous landmarks represented here so definitely check this out if you have an older kid that you're trying to buy something for moving in on the top five is K2SO now this is a construction build uh, from Star Wars Buildable Figures. This is a droid from the latest Rogue One movie from Star Wars. K2SO was one of my favorite characters from the movie and he's definitely my favorite construction figure out of this round. Anyone who has had some experience with construction knows that robots are where it best shines. Like nothing stands out in construction more than actual robots. Humans tend to be a hit or miss, generally a miss more than a hit, but K2SO really steals the cake. In fact, it almost looks like he's not actually built out of construction parts, more like he's just an actual toy figure that you can buy. It's going to run you $24.99, 169 pieces, now bear in mind even though it's less pieces than usual, these are construction pieces, but they are larger. Everyone I've heard of that's gotten the set really recommends it, they say it's a great set. Uh, I'm personally looking to get it myself this Christmas season because I love the character so much and if you had someone who loved the movie, you should totally think about putting this on your list to get them as well. Now coming in at number 4, it's Lance Mecha Horse. This is one of the Nexo Knights sets that we felt really stood out. In fact, Nexo Knights had a lot of great sets this year, but this one really kind of stood out to us for its creative and inventive design. This set's going to run you $19.99, it's 237 pieces. 
it definitely balances out between having a creature build as well as having a cool vehicle and robot build. In fact, it seems to have the best of both worlds. Out of all the Nexo Knight sets, this one I felt had a really compelling design, especially for the price that it was given. Definitely something you should pick up if you have a kid that likes the Nexo Knights line or just likes knights in general. Moving on to our final three, coming in at number three, we have the Corner Deli. Now, I've always been a fan of the modular builds, and even though it, those are very pricey, you are able to get a kind of miniature version of that here with the Corner Deli. It's going to run you $40, $39.99. It comes with 467 pieces. It's a very well done kind of micro size set. There's a lot of ingenuity that went into the architecture of this set, and it really conveys well the idea of a corner block that has a lot of detail while still being very cheap and affordable. Now, this set is kind of aimed less at younger kids who want something to play with and more at like older kids who have an interest in architecture or want something with a lot of detail. If they're getting at that age where they kind of think they might be too old for LEGO, get them this. They'll definitely push the boundaries of what they're used to building with with a normal LEGO set. Our penultimate pick at number 2 is Doctor Strange's Sanctum Centorium. Now this set is a tie-in with the Doctor Strange movie that came out this year. However, it has a lot of great detail into it that really makes for a great set. There's a lot of cool play features that are interactive for kids who kind of want something to, you know, play around with. But still, it's a very nice display set. It's something you can kind of have in the corner. There's a lot of detail into the interior. The minifigures are very well done. They're not released anywhere else. Really, it's a great buy overall. It's $30, $29.99. It has 358 pieces, but the creativity that goes into this set, uh, being able to make the, uh, I guess, demon-like creature on the right be able to move, the little uh, play feature in the back that kind of lets uh, Doctor Strange's cape kind of levitate. All these little details really help the set kind of have a feeling of its own. And it really stands apart from the other sets that we've gotten this year, especially for the price that it's being offered at. If you have anyone that loves comic books or movies on your list, definitely think about getting this one. You will not regret it. And finally, at number one, we have The King's Mech. We kind of deliberated which one would be number one on this list. And one of the hardest things was trying to figure out what exactly kids wanted. Some kids want different things than others. Some kids want to build something really cool. Some kids want to play with something really cool. This was the one we felt was able to meet both standards very, very well. The King's Met is one of the best mechs that has ever been made with LEGO. It comes with a really cheap price for what you're getting. It's $29.99 for a 375-piece set. This comes with the King, it comes with an enemy, uh, and it also comes with a very well-done mech. It has a very great shield and sword, opposable fingers, almost everything you can kind of ask for in a mech. It looks super imposing and very well done. Again, we've gotten a lot of mechs before, but this one really stood out to us as the best bang for its buck. Nexo Knights has kind of been firing on all cylinders this year. It's been one of the best designed lines that we've seen come out of LEGO, and this is definitely one of the best sets from that line. So if you want something that's fun to build and fun to play with, definitely go with this option. For $30, you cannot go wrong. And that concludes our top 10 list. Uh, tell us what you thought in the comments below. Maybe we missed a set you thought was definitely worth getting. Maybe you got a set that you thought was really great for the price that you found out it was. Um, totally let us know. This is definitely a great resource for I know for a lot of people who kind of want to give their kids something related to Lego but aren't really sure what to get. Um, if you want to see more top 10 lists like this, definitely subscribe to our channel. Uh, we have a lot more things like this. Uh, we have another holiday list that's a bit more on the pricier side, but like for those of you who have more money to spend, or maybe you know some older people who wouldn't like really like the kind of bit more kiddie playful things here on this list. So please go definitely check that out. And also subscribe to this channel to get more content like this in the future. Uh, if you want to leave a like or a comment, that'd be greatly appreciated too. We also have more stuff on our TTV Patreon at patreon.com slash the TTV channel. And you can also discuss more about these deals and different presents you can buy and or what you got at the TTV message boards at board.ttvpodcast.com. All right, I'm Jonathan, and I hope you guys have a great time doing some last-minute Christmas shopping. Good luck out there.